What's up, guys? I'm Virginia Loman. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're in the studio with Alfonso Herrera from Fox's hit show, The Exorcist. It's Thank a pleasure you so to much be here. for Thank being you. here. Of course. Um, so, I want to ask you, obviously, a few questions about the show. What was it like preparing for your role of Thomas Ortega? Uh, well, specifically, it was. Uh, it's a big responsibility, but yeah. at the same time, it's a great opportunity to show and to be part of a, of a show that, in a certain way, is connected to this holy grail mm -hmm. of horror. But, yeah, it's uh, sort of the mecca of horror, it right? Is, I mean, it is. The Exorcist was probably one of the first horror films I ever saw. So how and how did you react? It? I watched it I when I was I was I watched it when I was ten years terrified. old. Yeah, with my little brother, he oh was eight God. years old. So it was a very peculiar experience. Yeah. But what I can say is that um, in terms of exorcisms, uh, I tried to investigate a little bit with people from the Catholic Church. Okay. Who, uh, but they were a little bit hermetic with mm -hmm. the information they wanted to provide. Right. Or basically, they didn't provide yeah, any of it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised they said they anything They didn't provide to you. any They're information. Like, we don't talk about these things. <laughs> but thanks to the great team that we, that we had, uh, Rupert Wyatt, who was the director of the pilot, uh, Jeremy Slater, who is the creator and writer, uh, Rolling Jones, who is also one of the producers, but he was also very involved in the writing process, uh, we managed to build something uh, very grounded with yeah. three-dimensional characters. And as you said, if we understood very well our characters, then the stimuli would come naturally. Yeah, but we sure. had a blast in doing that show. Awesome. So, I mean, obviously you said that you watched the original Exorcist with your little brother. I did. Do you guys have conversations about, like, I can't believe that I'm actually <laughs> playing this role now? <laughs> like, I, I was. I. I was born in Mexico City, okay. uh, but then I moved to Guadalajara, where my mother lives. Mm -hmm. And there was this thing uh, in Mexican TV that you could see like different like trilogies yeah. on Saturdays. Okay. So they did The Exorcist three, two, and one. They saved the the last, oh my gosh. The, the the best one at the at the very end. Yeah. And we watched the last one. Okay. When I was ten. Just was the saying, last one, or you sat there and watched no, all we three watched, in one sitting? No, we watched just okay. the, 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 That's a terrifying the first day. <laughs> the first movie. And we were terrified. It was a very peculiar experience. Yeah. We couldn't sleep for two weeks. But because it's very well done. Yeah. And especially it has to do with a lot of psychological horror. Right. I mean, I think that's the scary thing about the movie, right? You half of the time it's not like you're fighting vampires or that's fools. Right. Like you're literally fighting like Demons, but then also some like your character battles inner demons as well. That's right, so. and we we are trying to explore not just the macrocosmos, which is uh, trying to fight these entities right. and these negative energies that are around. Right. We're trying also to portray these inner demons that each and every single human being has, which are fears, doubts, right. and those fears and doubts are little gates or little windows that provide these bigger entities right. to get in. And also, I mean, we're trying to portray the the battle between light and darkness. This For is sure. a battle that has existed since the beginning, the beginning of, of times. Time. Yeah. And uh, in a certain way, this story is not the exception. With the biggest and uh, with a great challenge, which is a connection to this holy grail of yeah, horror. horror. Um, did you do anything to sort of like get into the mode or mentality of being Alex Ortega when you got to set? And when you got there, were you, were you, or I'm sorry, not Alex Ortega, no, Thomas no, no, Ortega. Yeah, yeah. Were you Thomas Ortega the entire day? Or, you know, when, when the film stopped rolling, did you sort of like get back into your own, like, I'm back to being Alfonso right now? Or did you like stick to your role all day? No, no, no. I, I, I think it's good to just uh, separate, the separate things. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Uh, when, we were, when we were about to shoot, I thought, okay, we're going to shoot The Exorcist. We're going we're gonna, to uh, explain and we're going to enter into this dark and dense right. world. And I thought that the atmo atmosphere on set probably it was going to be like that. But actually, it was totally the opposite. Okay, It interesting. was amazing. We had a blast shooting in Chicago. So there was like laughing on set, yes. not like crying. Be between takes, <laughs> okay. obviously, between takes. Right. But it was uh, a great experience. And also having the possibility to share a set with Ben Daniels, yeah. which is an amazing actor, uh, with Gina Davis, uh, which is a huge yeah, you guys actress have an amazing and movie cast. icon, not just in the States, but everywhere. Yeah. So it was an amazing opportunity. Awesome. 
a little bit more just about you. I mean, obviously your career has sort of like spanned everything. When it comes to entertainment, you are the entire package. So what are you planning on doing next? Like, do you want to like venture into directing, maybe some screenwriting? Like, do you have, what are your other passions outside of acting? Or uh, forward? Well, I, there's a, I don't know how to say it. There's a sentence in Latin America mm -hmm. that for, for you to, to run properly, you need to crawl first. Right. Appropriate, uh, in, a, in a good way. Right. So... You have to crawl before you walk, that's I think right. is the equivalent. You, and yeah. you have to crawl in a very good way, yeah. so next you can walk right. better. So I think that I am very, very fortunate with the projects that I have right now. Uh, it doesn't matter where it goes. I just finished a movie in Spain, and it was a great uh, story. Okay. And also, um, there's another season, uh, another show that is going to be aired, which I am in. It's called Sense8, mm -hmm. and the platform is Netflix. Okay. So oh, I'm happy. Amazing. Yeah, I'm that's happy exciting. with the projects that I have right now, yeah. and, uh, and yeah, that's You're it. You're good with it right yeah, now. Yeah, You're yeah. not like rushing anything. Yeah, the the project will come. The How do you sort come. of like find the time to balance all of this? I mean, between remembering your lines as Thomas to like filming all of these new product projects, how are you sort of just finding a balance in your own life. I have no idea. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. But I, I just I just do it. I just do it and I love my work and I feel very fortunate again to find interesting characters, interesting stories, scripts that no matter the nationality of it yeah. are great. And uh, sometimes the story itself yeah. is the one that surprises you. Okay, talk to me about finding the good, the great scripts. I mean, I imagine that your publicist probably like sends you projects all the time. Like, what do you think about this? What do yeah. you think about this? But obviously, you don't take all of them. You know, once I heard something that is uh, in 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 overall, like uh, there are three things that exist when you're going to choose a project: okay. it's script, director, and cast. Okay. You can live with two of them, but you can't have all three. If you if you if 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 there's a project yeah. where it has the three of them, yeah. you should take, you take it that right away. Immediately. <laughs> okay, got it. You can live with two, and if it has just one, well, probably you should consider it. Okay. But that that's like a interesting uh, resume. Sort of. Is like, that is that is like that a, well said? A motto to go. I, with. I, sometimes <laughs> I get lost in translation because no, of, of, okay. of of the of the language. Yeah. But it's uh, it's very helpful and. Uh, and also very important not to judge right. the project. You just have to be open to any story, to any character, right. and not to judge your you have character. To be an you have to you have to embrace your character and yeah. you have to defend it. Okay. Even though sometimes you do not accept or you do not agree with what he's doing inside right. the story. Uh, do you have a dream role? I have a dream role. Mm, no, yeah. I just let stories and characters Come surprise to you. me. Yeah. Okay. But the biggest thing and the most important thing is characters and stories to challenge you. Got it. You cannot sit in a comfortable zone. If that happens, you have to keep moving. Okay, last question. Obviously, here at the news, we're in New York, so I have to ask you something about New York. Is there one thing in particular that you think uh, just makes New York like this magical place for you? Oh, traffic jams. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're so jams. magical. <laughs> <laughs> they were magical. There's, it's a magic. That is hilarious. Because, because really, drivers they do magic. <laughs> they to do. Ma to the make taxi it, drivers to make it in particular, time. I will say that. Yes. That's magic. That's yeah. like alchemy. That's Pure true. alchemia. Yeah. So, but New York, it's uh, an amazing city. I really uh, enjoy being here, yeah. and it in a certain way portrays also what the U.S. is like. For like sure. The very diverse. Very diverse, and I think that is that is a huge strength. For sure. And that is something that I admire from the city. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. This was great talking to you. Thank you. And thank you guys for tuning in.